Hello, lovely people. Welcome once again to Akusia's vlog. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're done. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare wache. Wache is a popular delicacy among the northern people of Ghana. And it's made from wache leaves, beans, and rice. Come with me as I take you through the process today. Now let's begin by washing our hands with soap and water. After I would wash my beans with water and then light my fire. I will go ahead and put a saucepan on the fire and then add enough water to boil my beans. I would put the washed beans into the water and then add a tablespoonful of baking soda to it. You can use salt pepper or cum if you have that one and it will all work perfectly. When I'm done, I would cover my beans and then allow it to boil. But make sure to be checking up on it as when it starts boiling it will begin foaming and can mess up your kitchen. After two hours our beans is very soft so I will then go ahead and put water into another saucepan. I've already washed my sogum or washi leaves and frozen it so I will just put it into the water and bring it to a bowl. We have two ways of preparing wachi. You can decide to boil the beans with the leaves or you can do what I'm about to show you. Either way would give the same results. Boiling the leaves will take about 5 to 10 minutes for the color to come out. When I'm done, I will take the leaves out of the water and then leave it to boil for an extra 5 minutes before adding my beans. The leaves can never go still with this method and then you can reuse it for as long as you like. Five minutes after taking the leaves out of the water, I would go ahead and add my beans to it. Please make sure that the beans is well cooked. I mean, it's very soft before adding it to the boiled water or the boiling water. Stir it together and allow it to boil for an extra five minutes. I would go ahead and add salt to taste. At this point, I will stir gently till it's all mixed and then cover my pot. Remember not to cook your beans with salt as it will take a very long time for it to soften. After about 5 minutes, I'll go ahead and wash my rice and then put it into the boiling water and stir gently before covering it. I would then cover my pot and allow it to cook. This time I would have to reduce my fire to the minimum and allow it to simmer for 10 minutes or so the water is drained from the rice. Remember that with wachi, you have to keep a keen eye on it. Other than that, it will start burning. So once in a while, come and check up on it and then stay to know how it is going even before the water is drained. Go ahead and cover it with an aluminium foil and allow it to simmer for an extra 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure it's on low heat. Once in a while you come back and check up on it. Now our watch is almost ready after 30 minutes so you open it up and then 
you check it. If it's hard, you add water to it and then cover it and allow it to simmer till it's very soft. But then if you want it in grains or if you want it one one as we properly call it in Ghana just use less water and you are good to go Awache was ready in an hour now what we learned today was that when cooking your beans never use salt in the water when you do that it will take a longer time to cook and we won't want that secondly instead of boiling the leaves with the beans we decided to boil it separately this way we can reuse our leaves for a longer time when you cook it with the beans it will go still in chi we say ebeninya but then when you do it the former way it won't go still and you can keep it in your freezer for as long as you want secondly you can use baking soda instead of kem or salt pita to cook your wachi and you will get the same results too thank you lovely people for watching my channel don't forget to subscribe for more recipes see you soon bye bye